Hello everybody, it's Mark from Donnie Mott Leisure Kingdom. Happy New Year, thank you for joining me today here at the showground at Donnie Mott Leisure in Hilton. So today we have a Volkswagen Transporter. Um, it's a Highline based van, 72 register, so it's a 2022 vehicle with delivery miles. So it's done less than 100 miles at present. Uh, it's a brand new conversion uh, from Camper King and the Highline based vehicle. So the first thing you'll notice is in Mojave beige. It's a 150 horsepower DSG, so it's an automatic vehicle. And being the high line, you've got body colored bumpers, fog lights, parking sensors front and rear. Um, the alloys, as you can see, are cast and owned by Camper King as a converter. You will not be able to buy those wheels from anywhere else. Um, and uh, yeah, they're absolutely stunning. I think they look quite retro, a little bit like the Porsche alloys that you'll see on some of the old classic um, split screens. So, round to the driver's side, looking through the driver's door. We've got auto lights, auto wipers. We've got this real nice um, flat bottom leather steering wheel, single driver seat and passenger seat. The headrests I've taken out of the rear bed for a reason I will show you shortly. So do not worry. Um, and then you've got the uh, mobile apps function on the digital display. And you've also got controls on the dash where you can turn on and off the stop start and the parking sensors when you are maneuvering around a small space or a car park, you can turn them off. So it stops them from beeping at you if you're driving around a car park. Um, water filler just here, electric hookup point, and then your kitchen window opens as well, so that can let the air pass through nicely. The rear of the van, you, again, you've got colour coordinated rear bumper and you've got parking sensors, heated glazed rear window with wash wipe. And if you open the tailgate up, this one's got the new Titan bed function. So you have all of this boot space. So the um, bed is and traveling seat is mounted a little bit further forward. Doesn't affect the use of the fridge when you put it out into a bed though. So you can still get in there like the older vehicles. What it does do is it gives you a split level boot and this is really, really nice to use part of the bed as well. Um, you get the gas locker, 240 socket so these sockets will only work when you're plugged into the mains the usbs will work all the time off the 12 volt and a very simple sergeant control panel so that just turns your power on and off and turns your battery charger on and off um you can put a little bit of pressure on the top of the bed here and then this little lever when you get that click it'll bring it down and you can stop it at one level so if this is made as a bed you can recline slightly if you want to sit comfortable and watch a tv program or you can drop it right the way down and it will turn it into a split level boot as well and then you have these different resting positions so we've got one there one a bit further up and then one all the way to the top so you can have a nice big boot when you are traveling table fits onto the rail just in the kitchen area but we'll show you that shortly and then you get the little storage locker underneath the back there Round to the passenger side, we've got the slide door. Open that up, you've got privacy glass on all the windows all the way around as well. And this one is a Monte Carlo conversion with this nice sort of latte coloured and wood finish worktops as well. So it's very, very nice. What they have done with the worktops, different to the previous models, they've taken the top worktop and moved that back about three or four inch, cut off the corner units there. So now if you're a taller driver, uh, as I am, you can move the driver's seat right the way black, and recline and um, it's a, just a much more comfortable driving position they've swapped the grill out for a microwave so that's an automotive microwave so it's cushioned in and fitted properly so it won't rattle or squeak or bang and it's nice and comfortably mounted into that position fridge freezer is a little bit further forward and then the table that we've seen in the back actually sits onto that rail just underneath where the hob yeah. and sink are um, You've got upgraded 12 volt lighting, so you've got that big 12 volt lighting strip that runs behind the uh, kitchen unit. Then you've got all touch sensitive 12 volt lighting as well. As well as now, they've put lights inside that little locker there as well, so all that's illuminated. So you can see if you're rooting around in there looking for your beans or stuff like that. Um, really nice, big, easy to use upgraded control panel from Camper King as well two USBs, wireless charge pad, uh, two 240 sockets, and you've also got the controls there for the night diesel heater. Um, boom table in front of the passenger seat, so this can be loosened off and swung around so you can use it inside or out. And then this amazing bed. So what I'm gonna do is swap places with Wendy, who's taking the video at the minute, uh, and I'm gonna show you more about how this new bed works. Um, it's brand new from Camper King. It's got storage underneath. It's well. got a storage drawer underneath, um, which is really, really handy. And 
now, so we get a lot of people that come in asking about ISOFIX. They've got ISOFIX for baby traveling seats as well. And a little thing that I love, the base of the seat is a little bit longer. So being taller, it goes right to the back of my knee. And underneath, if you get hold of the rail, slide that forward and you can recline when you're traveling and two positions so you can have a really comfortable drive and when the bed's yeah. down it means that the taller passengers get lots of headroom as well and it's really simple pull the lever slide all the way back and that goes into that position and then when you want to turn it into a bed headrests are out and removed so they're in the driver's seat so what we do pull the lever support the bed let that drop down and then all you can say the little lever that i showed you earlier in the video pull the lever drop the back of the bed down that's it and then for putting the bed away there's a strap in the middle make sure your buckles are out of the way of this gap squeeze the lever give it a pull he says there we are and that's back in position so nice and simple to use just need a little bit of elbow <laughs> but um it will move um yeah that's the monte carlo um it's here on site it's available to view it's ready for test drive and if you'd like any more information don't be afraid to pick the phone up and ask for me i'm mark and i'll see you soon thank you very much